Hi guys. I just wanted to thank everyone for praying for me. I have, I had not been that sick in over 15 years. I mean, I, it was bad. Um, I was out of commission for a good 10 to 11 days, <clears throat> completely out of commission. So Thank you guys for praying. Thank you, Brother David, for um, putting out that prayer request. Um, I really appreciate it. And I just want to say a few things. Um, um, as long as, so far, as long as I can on YouTube and as long as God gives me the unction through the Holy Spirit, I'm going to keep contending for identification truths. You are in Christ. If you were genuinely blood bought, born again, you are, you are seated in heavenly places with Jesus. Okay. You, everything Jesus has, you have positionally, you are perfected. You are holy. You are righteous. Okay, you are pleasing to God. Why? Because you were in Christ. And the very, the incarnation, think about the incarnation. When Jesus, when he incarnated himself into humanity, that was the perfect illustration of, of God imprinting after he would have completed his ministry, death, burial, resurrection, ascended, placed his blood on the, um, you know, on the mercy seat in heaven, all of that, that, that was perfectly pictured. The fact that we, God impress or the Holy Spirit impresses Jesus within us, the more and more we rest in Jesus. Okay. The more and more the imprint of Jesus becomes more and more apparent. Okay. We can't see it, but God can. And, um, the, the incarnation is a perfect illustration of God imprinting Jesus into humanity. Okay. And that's just a beautiful picture. And I will not back down from identification truths. You do not. We are no longer under law. Why? Because Jesus fulfilled everything. And because we are a new creation in Jesus. Okay. Everything that he has inherited that is our inheritance. As we rest, as we reckon on that, and as we reckon our flesh as having already been crucified to the cross, okay, um, then we are able to rest. We do not take up our cross to follow Jesus, okay? Jesus, when he took up his cross, we took up the cross in him. Okay. So that's already been taken care of. We as born again believers, we live our life with the cross behind us. As uh, David Benjamin says, not before us, it's behind us. It's done. It's finished. It's completed. God is finished with us. He doesn't expect anything else. So quit trying, just trust in who, you know, and in, in what God says in his word, trust in what the Lord says you are and who you are based on what the scriptures tell you in the epistles, the Pauline epistles. Okay. Um, just rest in that. And then the Holy Spirit will completely change your, your life. Jesus is my everything. I'm not striving to, to work on this character flaw or that character flaw or to stay away from this or stay away from that. No, it's, it's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's, it's all, it's Jesus. And as I reckon on that, I want to read the Bible. I, I feel the Holy Spirit will lead me to do things to, to serve him that come naturally to me. 
and I'm not striving. I'm not trying. I'm not struggling. Jesus went through all that so that we don't have to. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, that you did everything. You accomplished it all. You are my all in all. Your blood paid for my sin. You crucified my flesh to the cross when you were crucified to the cross. Creations aren't even crucified. Our reality is in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Magnify yourself, Lord Jesus. I pray. Magnify yourself. Make yourself known. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.